We are ANN, and this is Planet Talk. Hello and welcome to Planet Talk. My name is Alex Stein, and I will be your host today. Now, I want to share my screen and briefly talk about today's transits before looking at the story that I want to talk about today, which is about the proposed filibuster reform in the Senate and the bearing that that might have on, uh, on voting rights going forward. Now, so we're still experiencing this beautiful triple conjunction of the Sun, Venus, and Neptune, where we're bringing together the solar principle of uh, consciousness, awareness, vitality, individuality, selfhood, uh, creativity, together with, um, with the Venusian principle of beauty, of harmony, of, uh, of relationship, of the arts, of pleasure, and the Neptunian principle of inspiration, of visions, of dreams, of transcendence. Now, this is a great time uh, to engage in inspiring activity. You know, we're, we're unusually open to spiritual uh, inspiration, to artistic inspiration, the ability to experience unitive states. Um, and beauty in particular is, uh, is a really strong carrier of this right now because of Venus. So even if we're not trained and cultivated artists, it's a great time to maybe just go bust out the crayons and doodle something or uh, sing in the shower or sing along to the radio or, or whatever. Also a great time to just experience nature's beauty, to get out, take a hike, preferably in the sunshine if you got it, and you know, bringing in the relationship component of Venus you know, with other people. You know, getting outside is a great way to spend time with other people during the pandemic. Um, So, you know, Neptune and Venus can, can um, muddy things a bit. Uh, Neptune can sort of fog up our vision of ourselves, Neptune's sun or of other people, Neptune, Venus. Um, we, we might uh, need to watch out for what we're projecting onto other people or onto a situation, our ideas of ourselves or others versus the reality. But... Um, but really, this uh, this lineup is it's opening us up to really beautiful and nourishing energies that um, that we want. So just remember that it's a good time to consciously draw in this kind of inspiration. Now, while we've got the kind of soft yin uh, quality of Venus Neptune colored by the sort of active, yang, vital uh, quality of the sun, it, it, it's still an overall a, a gentle and, and, and peaceful energy, but it, it's made a little bit harder around the edges by the fact that we've got this Mars, uh, or I'm sorry, Mercury, Mars square right now, which can bring in kind of pointed, direct, uh, aggressive ways of speaking, um, you know, delivering hard messages, um, kind of, uh, you know, maybe heated debate, argument, um, snarky comments, uh, irritability, all of that kind of stuff can be there. Uh, you know, if you're sitting on a, on a volcano of anger ready to explode, it might be a good time to just go into another room or out into a field and yell at the top of your lungs. If you want to bring in the artistic uh, element of Sun, Venus, Neptune, you know, maybe, uh, maybe sing really loudly, you know, maybe scream, scream sing, or, uh, or maybe doodle something really, you know, a bunch of burning buildings and ah! jab at the paper with the pencils. I don't know. Um, yeah, so now we've also got a, um, a trine from Mars to Saturn, which gives a kind of 
gritty, like let's get down to business, let's do some heavy lifting kind of an energy. Um, it can feel like if we've gotten to an enough's enough type of a moment, time to just kind of move our energy through in a sort of sustained, uh, with kind of sustained intensity. Um, yeah, now the, the Mars, um, the Mars Mercury stuff has particular bearing on, uh, on what's going on with the filibuster reform and, uh, and the threat to voting rights that's going on in a lot of states right now. So first of all, if, if we just think about it, Mercury in here, Mercury relates to uh, Senate procedure. I like to think of Mercury as the kind of administrator of the planets. So, you know, the way things get done, all of those sort of details, that's Mercury's uh, job. Now, Saturn is also in there as the, uh, you know, the structure, like um, rules and tradition, right? Um, and we are, of course, in this longer running period of having Saturn square Uranus, where uh, the sense of, of how things have been done, um, of, of tradition, of authority, uh, all that kind of stuff, of the uh, status quo holding on is being challenged by the awakening, liberating, radical energies of, of Uranus. So, you know, the change to, to the rules is a thing that we can see with, uh, with Saturn Uranus. Um, but I want to bring it back right now to uh, just to the Mercury Mars. So I talked about Senate procedure. It's also the vote, right? Mercury is the voice. Uh, it's also anything that happens on paper. Um, so when we look at Mars working on Mercury now, we can think of Mars as the, uh, well, on one level, the threat to voting rights. Um, we can also think about it as the fight for voting rights. We, and now if we link this to filibuster reform, okay, why am I talking about voting rights and filibuster reform? It's because, well, the way filibusters, the way a lot of us imagine the filibuster is that somebody just goes up and talks on the floor of the Senate and basically blocks a vote. You know, as long as they're on the floor talking, no votes can take place and legislation can't pass. Um, that's not actually the way the filibuster has, has been used for a while now. Uh, the way it really works now is that the minority party can invoke a filibuster and then basically require not a simple majority you know, 51 votes in the Senate uh, to pass, but require a 60 vote majority. And the result of that in today's Senate, which is split 50-50, would be that a lot of stuff can't pass, basically, if a filibuster is, is invoked. Um, we, there just wouldn't be enough votes for it. So more gridlock. Now, um, since the election, it's been going on for a while, but it's ramped up since the election. I believe, I got to consult my notes, but I think it's, yeah, 43 states, uh, Republicans in 43 st states have introduced 253 bills uh, this year, making it harder to vote. Uh, just in the last couple of weeks in Georgia, um, they uh, have put forward a bill uh, repealing absentee voting um, and another uh, putting an end to automatic voter registration. Now, the reason for this, you know, Republicans basically want to assure that they will get majorities forever after, you know, and, and gerrymandering over the last 20 plus years has really helped to draw the districts in such a way that it, it's just hard for Democrats to get seats in the Senate, even if more people want them uh, want them there. So, um, anyway, 
in order to basically put an end to this, what needs to happen is Congress, the federal Congress needs to put through some legislation that basically puts an end to all of that. And that just will not pass the Senate with the filibuster rule currently standing. And so if we look at, we think about the Mars Mercury angle in this, it's like, okay, the, the, the fight is heating up over the, these, um, the, the Mercury topics of, of uh, Senate procedure uh, and, uh, and votes, right? Um, now, it's a, it's a drastic move right? It's a drastic move. And, and uh, minority leader Mitch McConnell, you know, strongly uh, came out against it this week um, because he basically said that this would lead to a, quote, scorched earth Senate uh, where Democrats can just push through whatever they want to push through and it doesn't matter. And well, I mean, it's a little bit hypocritical coming from Mitch McConnell, who's been quite an earth scorcher himself. Um, but, uh, you know, he did say the pendulum's going to swing and it's going to swing hard. Think about the pendulum swing, you know, Saturn, Uranus, conservative, liberal, the, the feeling of, of the reality of, of the pendulum is very strong right now. And they were fighting words, you know, scorched earth, Mars, um, fighting words, Mars, Mercury, um, you know, and, and he basically said like, like, you, you know, next time the pendulum swings our way, we're going to, you know, put through a bunch of, you know, expansions of gun rights and, uh, you know, more drilling in the, in, uh, the United States and, uh, you know, tougher on immigration, basically all the kinds of things that, that, you know, liberals don't want. And nevertheless, uh, a, a lot of Democrats are, are going, you know, this is just what we got to do. If we ever want to get a majority again, we got to do something about the filibuster. It's now or never. Um, I also see the Mars Saturn trine uh, coming into this, that, that, that sense of like it, it, time to just move it through. Um, it's, it's a bolder move than uh, Democrats are used to making. Democrats, uh, in my opinion, haven't really been all that bold. They, they, they don't have uh, as much the, the gene for dirty fighting, maybe. Um, it's just my opinion, as Republicans do. Um, so anyway, um, now, it doesn't look like Democrats are going to be able to just abolish the filibuster uh, because a couple of Democrats are not on board with it. And that means that they wouldn't even have the simple majority that, that they would need to change Senate procedure because there are exceptions to the filibuster rule, including changes to Senate procedure, including uh, judicial and cabinet nominees. Um, and actually Stacey Abrams, uh, the voting rights activist and former Georgia uh, gubernatorial candidate um, uh, ha has basically, she, she's come out and, and said that, well, okay, if we're not gonna reform uh, the filibuster or, or abolish the filibuster, what we need to do is make an exception for voting rights because voting rights is a constitutional thing. And, uh, and that, you know, we just need to, uh, assure that. So don't know if that's going to happen. Really don't know exactly what's going to happen right now, but it is, um, it's all certainly reflective of this Mercury Mars. Now, um, we can also see the Jupiter Saturn at play in here too, uh, especially as pertains to, uh, to voting rights. Uh, Jupiter Saturn often raises issues of um, well social justice of who's got the power who doesn't um, and you know uh, rights versus control 
So the Jupiter, you know, the right to vote, right? But um, Saturn, the coming in and saying, no, uh, it's, it's gotta be arranged in such a way that uh, it, it only benefits the people who want things uh, structured the way they currently are. Um, anyway, looking at this, it's all, it's all interesting to kind of zoom out because I really feel like a lot of others that we are on the cusp of a new, uh, a new era, and you know, we're feeling this change, this this out with the old, in with the new, and then hopefully holding on to our um, our most important uh, foundations and traditions. We're really feeling this right now with Saturn and uh, and Uranus square one another, and then with the um, the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn, which um, though that conjunction doesn't last a very long time itself, it, it kind of sets the, uh, the tone for a whole 20 year cycle of those two planets. And so in a number of ways, we are, we are entering a new chapter. Things feel so different so suddenly than they did just, uh, just a few months ago. And we have yet to see where this is all going once it shakes out. But I'm just interested to watch how this filibuster reform is going to uh, is going to go because it's a it's a bold play and um, and I think it's going to have strong implications. So with that, I will sign off. So I'll see you next week. Thank you. Mm -hmm.